Hello YouTube friends and fellow soldiers. In this tutorial we will go over battle maps. Knowing your area is highly important when it comes to fighting it out against your enemy. In this video I will show you certain icons, objectives, and troop movement. This will help you fight strong and with the knowledge to make good decisions for you and your team. When you are ready to battle you will be brought to a battle screen like this one here. As you can see there are at the moment three blue circles highlighted. These are your spawn points. This is where you can jump into battle from different areas. Two of these points are clone reanimation units. The other is your MCC ship. The two CI units will spawn you on the ground directly. The MCC will spawn you inside the ship. From the ship you can jump out and activate your dampener to hit the ground. You must be careful. If you do not activate the dampener you can die with a fatal hit to the ground. As you can see there are blue and mild yellow color areas. These areas are not yet hacked by any player. As your team moves forward to the objectives you hack the units and they will turn blue for friendly or red for enemy. As you see in this battle the blue players are making a move toward the object. As they move forward and advance there are two different icons being laid down. One is drop up links and the other is nano hives. Nano hives are ammunition restoration items, and the drop up links are more places for you to spawn into battle. As the team progresses you see more and more being thrown down. This gives you more advantages on the field. When one team hacks an objective for example it will turn to either blue or red. Depending on color, will determine who is controlling the battle. Another major factor to know is the red line. As you see the map is surrounded by a red line area. If you go into the red line you have 18 seconds to leave it or you will die and is considered suicide. As your team progresses they will mention at times the enemy is in the red line. This means they are in the red line under their MCC or their side of the Why map. Why is this so important? It is important to know you battle maps. In order to safely reach to the ground, to continue to fight and minimize yours, and the team's loss of clones. The more links are dropped the better your chances, to get closer to the fight, and more of a tactical advantage. Also while you are waiting to return to the battle you can see enemy movement and relay to your squad and teammates. When it comes to fighting, and war any advantages you can bring to the battle the greater the chance of success and being victorious. And understanding the battle maps is just one map that is highly important for you and your cooperation. We hope this tutorial was helpful and fight hard. I am Sonia and you are now dismissed.